So how do we find the percent compositions of each element inside of potassium permanganate? We've come to the right place, my friend. First, we've got to find the total mass, and then we can find those percentages. Watch how easy peasy this is. Bam. So the first thing we're going to do is write the elements we see in the compound. So we have potassium. We write that a little bigger. Potassium. We have manganese, and we have oxygen. Then we're going to identify the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript at the bottom of the element, assume that there is a 1 there. Well, because there is. All right, so there's one atom of each, potassium and manganese, and then there are four oxygens because the subscript of oxygen is a 4. Then we're simply going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of the element, and that's where the periodic table comes into play. So the potassium's mass is going to be 39.10, manganese is 54.94, and oxygen is going to be 16. So let's write them on. on. So this is going to be 39.10, this was 54.94, and this was 16. Then all we're simply going to do is multiply this row on together uh, so that we find the total mass of the element in the compound. So this would be 39, so the total mass of potassium, that is, is going to be 39.10. Total mass of manganese is going to be 54.94. And then the total mass of uh, oxygen is going to be, well, not 16, because you got to multiply it by 4. Careful there, 64, right? And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, just simply add this column on up. And that works out to be 158.04. And there it is, right? That was the first step of the process, finding the total mass of the compound. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column to this table to help us find those percents. Easy peasy from here. Bam. So to find the mass percent of potassium, we're going to take the total mass of that potassium. That's why we calculated this row. So that's going to be 39.10. Divide it then by the total mass of the entire compound, or 158.04. Don't worry about the units because the units will cancel, but then you got to multiply it by 100 because we need it in terms of a percent. Part over whole times 100, that is a percent calculation. So this works out to be 24.74%. All right, that's all there is to that one. Next, for manganese, it's going to be the same thing. Take the total amount of manganese, 54.94, and then divide it by the total mass of the compound, uh, 158.04, times that by 100, and we find the total percent here is going to be 34, make that a little neater, 34.76%, all right? And then last but, what the heck? And then last but not least, yeah, there you go. Uh, take the total mass of that auction, 64. Don't worry about the zeros. All right, it might affect the significant figure count, but you know, quite honestly, you know how I feel about that. Who cares about sig figs, right? 40.50. Might say, well, my teacher will care when he or she takes off, you know, 72 points. And you're starting out of the gate, uh, you know, with a 28. So if you add these percentages together, just to check yourself, it should be 100%. And that's what I want for you on your next test. All right. And what we've done to help you out is we've created thousands upon thousands of videos for you in different subjects, not only in chemistry here, but we got mathematics, we got physics, we got organic chemistry, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff coming out. All right. So check out our channel and we'd love to help you get to where you need to go. Take care.